Why is the Iron Throne suddenly being so violent? Does this chair have a mind of its own, or is Viserys just accident-prone? Stay tuned to find out. King Viserys Targaryen is a pretty clumsy guy, isn't he? Sure, he's a mighty ruler, the patriarch of Westeros' finest family, and a builder of scale models. However, the guy can't seem to sit on the Iron Throne without inflicting serious and wildly infectious cuts on himself, which seems like a pretty strange character flaw, considering that the seat is a very central part of his job. After all, pretty much everyone who sat on the Iron Throne in Game of Thrones could lounge on it any way they wanted without filleting their muscles or appendages. As the people who are familiar with George R. R. Martin's source material may already suspect, there's a reason behind this dramatic change in the Iron Chair's effects on the person who sits on it. And the reason goes far beyond Viserys Targaryen's personal sitting skills. In Game of Thrones, the dangers associated with the Iron Throne tend to stem from the fact that if you sit on it, several factions will attempt to remove you from it by any means necessary. However, George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series depicts a very different Iron Throne. The throne was designed by none other than Aegon I Targaryen, aka The Conqueror. Being a tough enough guy to earn a nickname like The Conqueror in this universe, Aegon wanted to make sure that whatever rulers came after him would be up to the task. The Iron Throne was created as a combination of a stealth test and a method for weeding out the unworthy. It's uncomfortable, sharp, and dangerous, so if you're not as vigilant as a ruler should be, it's very quick to remind you in the shape of a cut or maybe five. Because of the throne's tendency to cut the ruler who doesn't have their head screwed on right, Martin's lore includes mentions of several kings who didn't respect the throne. The most notorious one would probably be Magor Targaryen, who was so bad at sitting that the Iron Throne actually killed him. Another name worth mentioning is the Mad King, Aerys II, who was eventually killed by Jaime Lannister, only after he had injured himself by slouching on the throne. Even the reigning awful king, Joffrey Baratheon, cuts himself in the books. It definitely appears that Viserys Targaryen isn't the kind of guy the throne approves, either. Episode 1 of House of the Dragon includes what seems to be an example of correct Iron Throne posture. When Viserys banishes Daemon near the end of Episode 1, he's sitting straight as an arrow, wielding a sword of his own. Damon walks away, and Viserys immediately cuts his finger on the throne. Add that to the back injury he sustained before the beginning of the series, and it's not hard to suspect that the character might not see the end of the show. The dangerous nature of the Iron Throne is reflected in its design. It's difficult for a large seat made of swords to be unassuming, but that's exactly what the original show version is compared to the new House of the Dragon Iron Throne. There aren't a thousand blades. There aren't even two hundred. I've counted. This pointy, jutty thing surrounded by scores of blades is not the kind of thing you'd imagine hauling on the convention circuit for fans to take selfies in, unless they're very, very careful fans. After all, the House of the Dragon Iron Throne is even dangerous on set, because there are real weapons incorporated in its design. Still, while closer to Martin's vision than the original, even the new seat is a far cry from the Iron Throne of the books. The book version is an asymmetrical, dragon-sized mountain of bent and tormented blades. The House of the Dragon version still isn't quite there, but its bulky, dangerous-looking design makes it clear that this is very different from the beloved original. Perhaps someone in the show eventually becomes tired of cutting themselves whenever they sit down on what's effectively their office chair, and commissions the relatively streamlined and more efficient version we see on Game of Thrones.